So now we have our guys like I wanted. So we're gonna be arm wrestling each other. So let's go through and fix our um our Bezzy arm mask. Um, because you can kind of tell that that's abrupt. It's really cut off, I guess you can say. Um, but when we went on the contrast line, contrast line, you can't tell at all. So we just need to fix around my hand and arm, and right here. You can tell the lighting was different, so we're gonna have to fix that later. So let's select our bezier mask, and we're gonna turn off our um, what are they called? Our, I guess, we're going to turn off all these lines where we can actually see what we're doing, but still edit them, okay? So by doing that, we're going to push command, um, slash, okay? So those safety things are off, but we can still fix it by and seeing, see what we do, okay? So we want to show the whole arm. So we're going to bring it back where we can see the whole arm. Okay, and now the knuckles look too rounded to be real knuckles. So let's fix that. Okay, and here it looks pretty good. So, the reason I wanted you to find someone who was pretty much looked like you is because that is not your hand. It's pretty obvious that it's not. Um, that is the girl that was here, my sister. And, yeah, now I look like I have longish fingers, but if I zoom out, you cannot tell at all. That looks like really good. So... Um, we're going to have to go through, if you want a picture, then you're pretty much done, alright? If you want a video, you're going to have to, um, do keyframes and go along, if, because I'm sure you aren't perfectly still. You're going to have to move your mask to the way you moved your hand. But, before we do that, I'm going to fix this lighting problem. You can really see the lighting problem right here. Okay, you can tell that this clip was a lot darker and this one was a lot lighter. And that happened just in a few seconds. That shows how how quickly the lighting changes and how important lighting is. So we're going to select our um, right clip, which is, I think, on the bottom. Yep, the bottom. And go add a filter. And we're going to do color correction and brightness. So we are going to turn down our brightness and make it match as much as possible. And we're going to feather it later. Let me see. Whoa, way too dark, sorry. That's too dark. Let's try. T Whoops, not ten. Okay, so the best so far is for me. Point ninety one. Now you can still see the line up here, but not down here. This line, we're gonna feather that and make it look fine. Also, I think that line is part of my shadow, so. So, now we're going to have to go through and fix our, well, first of all, let's do the feathering. I'm sorry, guys, I'm making this really confusing, but just keep doing it. I know you can do it. So, let's select our Bezier mask to go to our properties, and we are going to feather the edges by bringing it up. Don't want it too much because... Then you'll start seeing um, my sister underneath. You can see her sleeve there. 
Um, just very little is all you need. You just don't want it to look chopped off. Four is what I'm going to be doing. All right. So that makes that looks really good. Um, you can't really tell here. Now it's the long and boring process, and this is what we're going to do. We're going to turn on our recorder and go through and fix our Bezier mask. Um, so if you're on Motion 5, go to your Transform tool here, hold it, and go down to Edit Points. Okay. So we're going to edit our Bezier mask points. Um, if you did use the Command Slash to turn off your security, turn that back on by pushing Command Slash. Now, so we're going to turn on our recorder, and we're going to zoom in, and I'm actually going to turn off my security points because um, I'm more comfortable with them off, because I really like seeing what I'm doing. If you're not comfortable with them off, it sometimes gets difficult finding them without actually seeing them, seeing them so I have them off, we're recording. And the first frame looks good. Go to the next frame. It still looks good. We're going frame by frame. Now, I'm not going to show you me doing the whole clip because that will be extremely boring. I know. Um, but you just want to go through for movement, like right there. Right there, my arm moved. It barely moved. This arm moved. Um just barely so what you would need to do is um, change your points with it making it look like it's um, right up there you can't have a crack in between there so that is the Julian Smith effect um, you can add some lights to make it blend better and add some color correction so it looks better um, so yeah now you got to arm wrestle yourself and it's really neat effect and um, that is it guys please check out our other uh, tutorials and um, consider subscribing and um, thanks for watching see you next time